This short, efficient pregnancy stretch routine will help keep away pregnancy symptoms, aches and pains like sciatica or back pain. It's also great for helping your body prepare for birth. During pregnancy, you have extra relaxin hormone circulating. You wanna be very safe when stretching. I highly recommend being warmed up. First, I'm gonna to link to a short warm up if you haven't warmed up yet. Go into every stretch gently and no stretch should ever be painful. I may look like I'm pregnant, I'm actually just wearing a belly for demonstration. I do have three kids with three positive birth experiences and I put out new videos each week to help you prepare for a positive birth. Let's start standing up. If you wanted to have a chair or a wall nearby, if it's uncomfortable for you to balance on one leg, let's spread our toes. We're gonna move into a quad stretch here. You can stay here or for an advanced option, you can move into dancer's pose. Let the flexibility happen in your hips and your shoulder, keeping your ribs pulled in if you're moving into dancer's pose. Gently release. We're gonna step back to a lunge, keeping your back leg straight. Let your heel reach down towards the ground for a gentle calf stretch. Let's tuck our pelvis under, and then we can reach up and over for a gentle side stretch. Exhale, pull your baby in, coming up, step together. We can move to our quad stretch on the other side. Again, if you wanted to grab onto something for balance. Line your knees up, bend knee reaches down towards the ground. If you want to move into dancer's pose, you can. Good, gently release. Moving into our lunge. Stretching through our calf. Tucking your tailbone under for a deeper psoas stretch and reaching up and over. Exhale, pulling your baby in, coming up. Let's turn towards the center, bringing our feet wide apart, bending your knees. You can gently press into your knees. Let one shoulder drop down. Switching sides. Coming gently up, we're gonna come down to our seated position. Taking your right foot out and bringing your left foot in. Give yourself a bit of a boost. Flexing your right foot, let's drive our sit bones of our left hip into the ground. Inhale, reaching up and over, really ballooning out through your side body. Deep breath into your side ribs. Shoulders relaxing down your back. Exhale, pull your baby in, come on up. Let's shift our hips to face our front leg and we can cross our ankle over, bending our bottom leg for a piriformis stretch. Walking your hands 
behind you, fingertips facing towards your toes. You can also get a gentle stretch through the backs of your wrists if that feels good. Sitting tall. Relaxing through your hips. Beautiful. Let's release down. We can move it to the other side, giving yourself a boost, reaching up and over. Exhale, pull your baby into your spine. Coming up, turning towards your front leg, moving into our figure four stretch again. Finding length in your lower spine, almost as if you're trying to arch rather than letting your lower back round out. Opening up through your chest. Pose is great for relieving sciatica. Let's gently release out of the pose and we can come to either butterfly or if yogi squat feels good for you, that's gonna be a deeper stretch. If you're in butterfly, releasing your hips out to the side, you can stay sitting tall or hinge at your hips, releasing forward. Relaxing through your pelvic floor, relaxing through your hips. Slowly come up. We can turn to one side, bringing our knees together and then rolling on to our knees. We're gonna to come to a modified camel pose here. So you can either place your hands on your lower back and then keeping your ribs pulled down to protect your core, we're gonna open up through our chest. Alternatively, you can sit back on your heels, place your hands behind you and then press opening up through your chest and shoulders. One more big inhale here. Breathing into your side and back ribs, especially exhale. Gently easing out by coming down or pulling in your baby. Exhale, coming up. We're gonna move forward into puppy pose, which is great for getting your baby in a good position. We're gonna walk our hands all the way forward, keeping your hips high in the air. Or if child's pose feels better, you can do that as well placing your forehead on the ground. If that's difficult, you can also use a pillow or a block. Hands walk forward. And we're gonna keep lifted through our lower back and let your armpits reach towards the ground for a nice shoulder stretch. Pulling your baby into your spine. Let's walk our hands in, coming to all fours. Tuck
tuck your toes, moving into downward dog. If downward dog doesn't feel good, you could also do an L stretch over a chair or against the wall. Let's walk our heels out. And then let them reach towards the ground. It doesn't matter if they touch. If your wrists are sore in this position, you can also put little towels or a blanket underneath your wrists to have them slightly elevated. Good. Releasing our knees back down towards the ground. Let's come to a comfortable seated position. Let's take a couple of gentle neck stretches. Whatever movement feels good here. Coming up to center, let's inhale up. Sigh out one more time. You can place your hands on your belly, connect with your baby, and just recognize how far you've come to get to this point in your life. Sit in this moment and feel proud about all the challenges that you've overcome and know that this baby gives you the strength to deal with any challenges that are upcoming. I hope your body is feeling amazing after those stretches. I'm so excited for you. There is nothing as incredible as becoming a mother. I will link to my whole playlist of pregnancy, workouts, yoga, hit Pilates right there. You can save it, come back to the different workouts whenever you like. I'm also gonna to link to my natural birth preparation playlist right there to help you prepare for a positive delivery. Lastly, I will link to my ebook on how to reduce and cope with pain during labor. You can grab it from the description box below. And thank you so much for joining me today.